this project started at the time of the economic recession here. We propose that this building be built in limestone because we're on limestone territory and County Clare is a limestone county. All the other buildings in the university are brick, so we decided to make a big vessel for the medical school. It's 30 metres deep, 60 metres long. So the first move is economical. It's not a lot of different uh, forms and elements. It's a single mass, let's say, and we carved it from the edges and we carved it from the top to bring light in. But we knew that the first move was important in terms of giving the university a building of the presence and status and quality that we knew they wanted, but within uh, the budget. In relation to construction and the materials, something that we're um, always uh, concerned about is to uh, make a building which feels crafted and has a sense of weight and presence. And so it's 80 mil thick stone, which means it doesn't have to be hung, which means we can have proper pointing, which means it has weight. I'm, I'm a working surgeon. And what we're trying to do with the course and with this building um, is to teach team working and collaboration, not just in the building, um, but over there in the accommodation. And I, it, you know, it really, really does work for us. And it's unique. I've worked in five different medical schools across the UK and, and the United States. And this is unique. It's been built from the ground up with all this thoughtfulness behind it. And it's clearly working. I mean, what we found in this one is the, the exposed, repeated structure. I mean, the light on the, those triangular and on the beams as we carve in, that, that light bounces. Light is the, one, of the, one of the materials of, uh, of architects. That, that is not just the materials of concrete or timber or stone or whatever. That light is a component of light and space. We talked about the staircase as being the opportunity within the architectural world of making kind of moments of, of, uh, of connection. So you can stop with your laptop here on these shelves on this little landing, and it's more than a landing. It switches you, it, not, it doesn't just continue the stairs, it's a stopping point. So it's a kind of an orchestration, a choreography of how people might uh, be able to see. It's very nice to look at an entrance and see who's having coffee, or will you leave the building and go to the other other parts of the campus, or will you go up to research? Everybody can open a window, everybody can, I mean, we really want to, uh, to have people have that kind of power that you can open a window and be uh, connected to the outside. So we had the challenge of trying to make student housing uh, have a civic presence, but the brick we used is not the same as the brick on the um, south campus. It's, um, it's a slightly more organic, rustic, brick so it's, let's, it's not as urban as the brick on the on the other side of the campus. So we broke it into three blocks to make it feel like three large-scale houses and to make archways and connections through uh, and um, at the same time to be able to manipulate the buildings in relation to the ground so the roofs change and the, the heights change and the heights of archways change so it gave us more freedom to, it was a, a looser fit on the on the ground. It, was challenging to get it to work in terms of the area limitations. Like every room is prescribed, like so many briefs, every room size is prescribed, and you have to work within that. Um, but the main thing we were worried about, or thought about in relation to the housing, was to give that sense of a grand domestic scale, so that we paired the windows, uh, so the two floors are joined to make the big window. Uh, which reduced the number of openings and then we splayed the walls so that the, uh, the brick wall had presence, had a similar kind of presence to the stone wall, that it had that depth and sense of being carved. And while we were using different um, materials, the, we used the limestone sills uh, to make that connection with the, the, the limestone building. So the way this project was run, every single user in this building was consulted either by us or by the project management team. Every single socket and light switch was agreed with the end user. That's the way the university works. It really helps an architect because it means when you open a building, you don't have all these disgruntled people. You have people who get what they've asked for.